Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, as you know, <clears throat> Turkey is shelling parts of Syria and parts of Iraq in its fight against terrorism. So everything should be kosher and okay, because the United States used the same pretext in invading a few countries, right? So uh, that'd be okay. But no, it's not. You know why? Because the <coughs> Turkish army hits areas that are under the protection of the guys fighting terrorism in the first place. Who are those? That's uh, Zimbabwe from across the Atlantic. So the thing is, all right, that's bombardments, um, killing terrorists, but Turkey will not stop uh, on uh, only uh, shelling these people in, by the way, sovereign countries, two of them, Iraq and Syria. Uh, they're gonna probably um, prepare a little ground invasion as well. So this is just the first step. Boom, boom, zap, zap. Then it's gonna be pop, 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 with this. I, uh, <clears throat> this article comes from uh, Al Mayedin, and I uh, read another article coming from the uh, Jerusalem Post, and they said the same thing. They're of the same uh, opinion that Turkey will uh, send ground troops into Syria and Iraq to fight terrorism. Um, now, Turkish airstrikes pave way for land operation in northern Syria and Iraq. Yeni Safak contends that Turkey may have a plan for what is, co is coming after its air operation on Syria and Iraq. So you can just uh, shell whatever country you want, is that how it goes? Turkey has carried out an air operation in northern Syria, which could be the first step towards a land operation. I think it will be, according to Turkish daily Yeni Safak. Kurdish Firat News Agency ANF reported that Ankara has once again carried out an air attack against the city of Ain al Arab in northern Syria. Farah Shami, the head of the media center of the Kurdish led Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, said late Saturday night that Turkish aircraft were attacking Ain al Arab. Citing the Turkish Defense Ministry, Andalu reported that an air operation against the YPG, which is the military wing of the Kurdish, Kurd Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, was carried out in northern Syria and northern Iraq. It was reported on Monday that 89 targets were destroyed during the airstrike on Syria and Iraq. Many PKK le uh, leaders were eliminated, according to Yeni Safak. The air operation, according to the newspaper, can be read as the, the first step toward a potential land operation in Syria. I think this guy's gonna go all the way in. The problem is they're gonna hit uh, the Americans. They're gonna meet the Americans on that territory. And uh, we'll see what happens with two NATO countries meeting again in Syria. They met before, <clears throat> nothing happened then. On Sunday, the Turkish army shelled several villages in the northern countryside of Aleppo and fired missile barrages at the positions of the so-called Syrian Democratic Forces, <laughs> SDF, in the Al-Malikiyah region area north of al Hasakah and Al Isa area, north of Al Rekwa. Turkish media reported that a Turkish soldier, a Turkish soldier was killed and two others were targeted, were wounded as a result of shelling that targeted a border crossing in Kilis Governorate, Governorate on the Syrian border and missile targeted a Turkish base near Bab Al Salamah crossing inside Turkish territory. Oh my God! Those guys strike back. Who? That will be an all war. Now they're attacked. That's self defense right there. They claim that anyway uh, because the Turks said, well, those uh, terrorist attacks, bomb the bombing uh, in uh, Istanbul uh, was done by a woman. And she said, uh, she confessed that she's part of, part of this uh, DPK, PKK, KKK, Kurdish something, and uh, that organization that the Turks are uh, the, 
they, they designated as terrorist organization. Therefore, they say we were attacked. We're going to use the same uh, tactic as uh, our bosses, more or less, United States of America, and we will, uh, in self-defense, like Israel, attack those guys and cut them off wherever they are. We're going to just uh, bomb them, shell them in any country, uh, sovereign country they might be, because that's what international law says. In the name of self-defense, you can just violate other countries' uh, territory and space, uh, airspace, and no problem. But it goes only one way. You can't do it to us. So let's say tomorrow uh, Syria determines that uh, a certain kind of group operating in um, or being based in Turkey did something. They don't have to prove. They're just going to make a statement that they attacked something in Syria, then Syria is uh, obviously um, allowed and uh, everything okay, entitled to shoot, uh, I don't know, Bosphorus Straits, let's say Dardanelle or something. They will uh, be able to because that's what the Turks said. In self-defense, you can shoot other countries. And besides, you have the Americans in Syria and the Americans are supporting these weasels. Why? Because they supported it in the first place when they tried to make that uh, little... Um, civil war occur in uh, uh, Syria. That's how the whole thing started in Syria, if you remember. And then ISIS uh, got, inside, got inside of all that because ISIS, uh, Al-Qaeda, uh, Mujahedins <laughs> uh, that were helped by Americans against the Soviet Union, they um, were uh, saying, let's take advantage a little bit of this circumstance. So now you have a Syria, which is not a Syria. You have uh, United States over there looting, or at least uh, making sure that the big companies are looting, using the US military stationed illegally on the territory of Syria that we pay for. Uh, but it's okay, we get uh, cheaper gas. So yeah, is that how it goes? There's, these were the calls when September 11 occurred. Uh, some some of my uh, acquaintances uh, they said yeah let's make let's turn uh, Iraq in the parking lot with a pump well, then we're gonna go and get oil <laughs> gasoline I said yeah, okay that's good <laughs> and these are the they vote so they would have voted for something like that they were okay for you know uh, uh, raising uh, Iraq turning in a parking lot big parking lot with a uh, gas power uh, gas pump in the middle where we get it the oil from that's now anyway let's go back to this so we have <clears throat> american um, military in syria we have these guys that are um, how should i put them uh, separatists in syria as well uh, kurds and others a democratic uh, alliance and blah 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 they call them over there um, democratic forces in syria trying to uh, get elected if you know what I mean but when the Russians did in the Ukraine the same thing oh no no you, you can't have that that's sovereignty of uh, Ukraine Ukraine should determine what happens in its internal affairs which I agree but if you say one thing here you should say the same thing in the same circumstance but hey what do you expect uh, that's exactly what we expect given the history and the pattern and the players not that kind of players. So anyway, we have uh, Turkey that's going to up its um, its um, game, and I guarantee you they're going to uh, get in trouble with the Americans and see then what. Because uh, the Americans protect those guys, and the Turks are uh, going to hit them. I'm pretty sure they got the green light from the United States and said, hey, you got to do it surgically, and uh, this you can hit, this you can't hit, this you can't, because uh, don't forget, the Turks are using American warplanes and those uh, cannot really take off until Pentagon says yes. What's your mission? Oh, you want to bombard and kill those guys? Well, you can't do that. You can't use your, our airplanes. No, my bad. No, keep them down. Uh, that's what I heard. So I don't know if it's true or not. But that came from a guy called uh, uh, Vladimir. So he must be lying because he doesn't know what he's talking about. When Turkey shot their uh, Suhoi 24, remember? Over the little uh, Turkish airspace and then the crew fell down I mean ejected and then the ISIS got him and did like this to them and Putin was very upset with Turkey at that point and uh, <clears throat> from what Putin said he said those uh, F-16s that came took off and shot down the uh, Suhoi uh, 24 I think it was bomber uh, could not have taken off 
un unless the United States gave them the green light to take off. And I was like, what? And then I do, did some research and I said, yeah, yes, under the, certain, the program of providing you with our uh, aircraft, you have to do this and you have to do this. Like, remember, you go and buy a car, a new car from the dealership, let's say Ford, and you go over there and they say, okay, here it is, but you can't drive it unless you call us first and let us know uh, where you're going and we're gonna allow you or not to drive. They say, okay, yeah, all right, give me. Pay for Ford, get a Ford home and you're gonna go buy groceries. And they say, okay, call them and say, hey, Ford dealership, I wanna drive to groceries. And they say, where? Well, to that town that, oh, you can't shop over there. We don't, uh, we don't authorize you to do that. You have to go in a different town and do a different kind of uh, shopping at that store. Oh, okay, thank you, I do what you say, thank you. So is that Ford yours or is theirs? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.